say, I, I definitely prefer hearing the term China realist versus the China hawks, which is what a lot of yeah. China doves use. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's it's a realistic appraisal. I think uh, it's if you try to understand China, you know, and I think it's in a, we could go if you want to go a little deeper, you know, you've got two strands of Chinese political thought that have been very influential. Uh, one is Chinese legalism, uh, which in many ways is a proto-totalitarian theory. The first dynasty to unify China was a uh, was based on legalist principles. People talk about Xi Jinping, and he's uh, some of the optimists said that, oh, he stands for rule of law. No, he stands for rule by law, using the law uh, to suppress, to advance Communist Party objectives. So you have this tradition of Chinese legalism onto which Marxist-Leninism and Maoism has been uh, glommed onto. The contrary tradition would be Confucianism. And, and while Confucianism oftentimes, there was an attempt to co-opt it by the, by, by the state, if you look at Confucianism in its, in its essence, it poses a challenge to illegitimate regimes. Um, you know, there's a, a passage in, in Mencius, the second great Confucian uh, philosopher, where he talks about the idea of the mandate of heaven. That's something that people probably have heard a lot about. And, you know, he's asked the question, is it ever legitimate to overthrow a government and even to, to uh, kill a king, regicide? And he says, no, um, but, you know, a government that's legitimate, no, the, you can't overthrow it. But you can overthrow a tyranny. And a tyrant is someone uh, who does not rule in accordance with the Tao, the, the, the law above the law. It's akin to our natural law concepts here. And, and actually, there's a very similar passage in Aquinas, St. Thomas Aquinas, where he's asked the same question. Um, but um, uh, and, and Mencius has this phrase, and it's an even older phrase that he quotes. He says that heaven sees with the eyes of the people and hears with the ears of the people. This is a proto-democratic theory uh, there. And I think one of the reasons why Xi Jinping tries to co-opt the, the, the mantle of Confucius, you know, for example, the Confucius Institutes, there's a a Chinese uh, television program with Marx and Confucius. The Economist just wrote about it the uh, the other day. Uh, that's an attempt to sort of, I, I think, whistle past the graveyard. Uh, Li Keqiang, the the somewhat reformist uh, communist leader who passed away somewhat unexpectedly, and and people thought he was relatively young. It was very interesting. He had made a speech, uh, just I think the last speech that he had he had made, where he does reference heaven has eyes which was a, an allusion uh, i think to that older passage there that that from from mencius that where he says heaven sees the eyes of the people and hears of the ears of the people so there's a real sort of question of of, of chinese uh, of, of legitimacy of of the regime which i think the chinese communist party and xi jinping fears and it comes from within the chinese tradition as well um so the 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 line that xi jinping like Li kuan yu did that Human rights is in democracy are contrary to Asian values. That's not uh, that's not true, and, and in fact, if you look at the two Chinese polities, if you look at uh, at, at the People's Republic of China, but then you look at uh, Taiwan, the Republic of China, um, in many ways, uh, they, the, Taiwan shows an evolution of this more benign Confucian uh, theory. And we can go into the weeds on that and why that is. Um, but you know, one that's I think consonant with with democracy, yet still a thoroughly uh, Chinese polity. And whereas the uh, on the mainland, you've seen this legalist strain that has uh, has dominated, onto which Marxism Leninism is is infused to uh, create a governing ideology. But but and, and one of the reasons I think the animus directed towards Taiwan. As a practical matter, as long as Taiwan exists, uh, it gives lie to the claims that uh, that China cannot, uh, you know, that the Chinese people don't want democracy. They they do, um, and again, that goes to the point that it's very important that that um, U.S. companies do not subsidize tyranny. It's also important that administration policy. If you look, for example, the administration of George H.W. Bush, 
after Tiananmen, he sent Brent Scowcroft to Beijing and, and said that, hey, don't worry about it. We're, we're, we'll get back on track. That was the wrong uh, message to, to, to send. And hopefully that's not the result of, of, of APEC either, where, again, when you have a regime that, that, you know, and you look at the people that were in the street, the white paper protests, they, a very large gathering that has gone unnoticed in Tibet uh, that took place uh, last September, where you had over a million people uh, gathered there for a religious and cultural gathering. There's a lot of ferment in China and, uh, you know, heaven does see with the eyes of the people and hear with the ears of the people. And that's something I think that the regime um, fears. U.S. and U.S. corporations should side with the Chinese people, not with this uh, brutal regime. I, I really love that analysis because I, I all the time hear from people who have never read the Analects of Confucius or never read anything from Mencius say, oh, yeah, it's, it's China's not communist. It's 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 Confucian thing. Or Confucianism is authoritarian. Somehow that the Confucian tradition is responsible for. Yeah, like, the communism just evolved out right. of. Or not, right. not even communists evolved out of it, but like they just ignore the communist stuff. Until, haven't you yeah, found that? Yeah. Like they don't even, it's like Marxist, Leninist, what is that? And they're just like, oh, well, China's Confucian. That's why they're so obedient to the government, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, well, Confucianism is, there is parts about being, you know, respectful and obedient to the authority. But the caveat is, you know, as as you mentioned, Piero, like the caveat is that the, the rulers have to have the mandate of heaven. And if they right. are, are um, jerks, then they lose that. Exactly, and I think Confucianism understands there's there's rights and there's duties, and they they, are, they interact with each other. Um, and it is, and at the base of it, the basis of human relations, you know, while the emperor subject in traditional Confucian thought was an important relationship, at its core, it's the family, um, the the uh, parents and the children, uh, husband and wife, uh, siblings. And you know, if you look at, at 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 communism, especially the you know the the horrors of the Cultural Revolution, it's antithetical to that notion. The idea that that no one exists uh, outside the state; everyone has to do that, which is, I, I think, uh, very much core of Xi Jinping's thought, just as it was with Mao, Mao Zedong's thought and, and uh, communist tyrants. You know, if you look at the the Soviet Union, Stalin, Lenin. Um, Marx and Engels. Engels, you know, we focus on Marx uh, a lot because he was the, uh, I guess, the smarter of the duo. But Engels wrote a tract that uh, attacked the family. And and if you understand that how the communist project really wants to replace the family with the, with the state, um, you, it, it, you know, Confucianism is is a an antidote to that. And even despite the uh, you know, the horrors of the uh, you know the Cultural Revolution, um, yeah, the family unit does still uh, remain intact in in in, in China. But uh, but yeah, no, I agree with you. Um, Confucianism is is misunderstood, and a, an authentic uh, understanding of Confucianism, one that's not co opted by the state, um, I think, can be the basis for uh, a reform movement uh, in China as well. A Confucian style democracy. Interesting. There's a there's a book or journal article to write about that for someone. Oh, yeah. yeah not, uh, not us, but someone. 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 Um, well, yeah. here I'm, Chinese I, democracy is not just uh, an album by Guns N' Roses. It's uh, you know, <laughs> the, it came the, too the, late. 